And now we are going to begin with our John E. Drury Young Alumni Award winner. And this honor bears the name of legendary Dean John Drury, who created for the college a national audience by connecting the college to media on the national stage. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 Drury Award winner, Paulina Maranova, Associate Editor of Fortune Magazine. Congratulations, Paulina. Okay, so thank you so much for being here today. I am very, very honored to be standing on this stage. I wanna kinda walk through my time at Grady. It was defined by three key moments. The first was when I was accepted to Grady's uh, prestigious newspapers track, back when newspapers existed six years ago. <laughs> um, so I immediately emailed Professor Conrad Fink, who was a legend and is still a legend. Um, and I emailed him as a sophomore. I was terrified, and I said, hello, Mr. Professor, Mr. Fink. Um, can I be in your class the following semester? He replied with a quick no, and he said, I would love for you to have more experience under your belt before you take this, you know, American newspapers class. So, so I said, okay, and then Two weeks later, I got my Grady schedule, and I was shocked to find out that he actually did add me. So, <laughs> I spent the next semester of my life um, failing consistently every single news quiz that he had. Um, but I happened to be listening when he said, I believe there's a higher obligation, and we as journalists need to fulfill it. So that quote has stayed with me since then. In, in Fink's class, I learned about ethics, accountability, and action. The second defining moment um, at UGA was when I became the editor-in-chief of the Red and Black. It was one of <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the best times of my life. It's where I met my closest friends, and when I had the biggest office that I will ever have <laughs> in my entire life. It was like a corner office overlooking the Jimmy Johns. So. <laughs> um, it was also where, um, for those of you who remember, a group of students managed to reinforce the student independence of the paper at the time. And the, <laughs> and the third defining moment happened on January 29th of this year. Um, that evening I got a text message from the wonderful human that is sitting here, Lauren Patrick, um, who texted me and said that uh, our beloved professor, Barry Hollander, wasn't doing very well. So <laughs> I um, messaged that original group of red and black students that I was so close with, just because I knew we had to do something. I didn't know what, but I kn knew it was something. So um, my red and black colleague, I emailed this to them at midnight on the 29th, and um, my colleague, Lindsay Cook, had a great idea and she said, why don't we create a memorial fund for Hollander so that other students can you know, continue um, to kind of benefit from his legacy. So we did, and you guys should all check it out. I think uh, we've had a good turnout. So um, each of these defining, mo oh, and, and, hold on. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I almost forgot this. Um, Hollander, was the first professor that I interviewed in Fink's class for a Fink paper, which I got an A on, and then it consistently went down from there. <laughs> and then he was the first person to also come to the student's defense during that independence battle, and he was also the first person that taught me that whiskey and journalism go really well together. <laughs> uh, so I am very, I'm very, very thankful. Um, so each of these defining moments taught me a specific life lesson. Learn from the best, execute on the things that matter, and never forget to pay it forward when you can. Um, and without these wonderful professors, friends, family, mentors, I would not be standing on this stage today. So with that, I wanna thank um, my wonderful mom who's sitting right there who said that without her, I literally would not be standing on the stage today. <laughs> and followed it with a threat. So thank you, mom. <laughs> Thank you to Michael, who is so wonderful. Thank you to Lauren, who nominated me for this wonderful award. Um, thank you to Anthony, my boyfriend, who drove six hours to be here today. Thank you to Professor Herndon, who has been like my emergency call and my guiding light through all these years. Um, 
And thank you to Dean Davis, all of Grady, for helping us uh, put together the fund. And most of all, I'd love to thank um, Hollander's family for being here today. I'm so sorry I cried earlier um, for being here and letting us, you know, sharing him with us. I really, really appreciate it.